Hey everyone, in this video I'll be sharing with you how I easily create content for my website using this tool called Conversion AI. Specifically I'll be going over how I create list posts or listicles for my website. I'll be taking you through from start to finish how I use the AI technology to come up with listicle ideas to create the subheadings and each item in the list right through to creating the full article itself using the technology. For those of you who aren't aware of what Conversion AI is, like I said, essentially it's just a tool you use to create content for your business. You can either create short form content, which are things like Facebook ads or product descriptions, or you can create long form content like I'll be doing, with, which are things like articles for, um, for blogs, or even you, you can even create things like um, books so it's really long form content. I've left a link to Conversion AI uh, in the description of this video. Uh, it's an affiliate link and if you use it to sign up to Conversion AI, you'll also get 10,000 free credits on top of your um, base credits. So I'd really appreciate if you use that link um, to sign up to Conversion AI. Uh, I use the Pro Unlimited plan which lets me access the long form content generator but if you want to go for a, uh, a cheaper plan, then if you use the link, you'll get 10,000 free credits towards that. So without further ado, let's get into, um, I'll show you the process for how I create these listicles. Once you've gone on to Conversion AI and you've logged in or you've signed up to it, you'll then be able to go to your dashboard, which has all of the templates you can use to create content with. And this is where you'll, you'll give Conversion AI an input and it will use the AI technology to generate an output for you. So the first step in the process for creating a listicle is going onto the blog templates and choosing the blog post topic ideas. And in this example, I'll be creating a listicle in the wedding planning niche. So if I had a wedding planning blog, my blog might be called um, Pro Wedding Planner, which is just an example. A product description, so about the, or a description about the blog or the sort of content I want it to come up with might be something like, we want to inspire people looking to get married soon to create their ideal wedding something really short. If you wanted to add more um, more description there, then Conversion AI would make a more detailed uh, topic idea. Excuse me. And the audience I'll put as uh, people looking to get married. I will say that the blog post topic ideas, if you don't include much in the product description or the audience, then it will come up with some quite basic topic ideas. These are, and the topic ideas that it comes up with and then it will probably come up with now will be good for well will be more optimized for social media so blog articles that um, work well with Pinterest and on Facebook because they're more general you can create good pins and good social content for them but if you're looking to rank these articles for or you know on Google and you're using SEO then you might want to do a bit of extra keyword research to make the uh, keyword more long tail so you can go after those more uh, long uh, lower competition phrases. The tone of voice I'll add in as informative, creative and friendly. And examples that I can give to Conversion AI to help them are things like uh, best wedding gifts. So these are uh, blog post ideas uh, that I may have written in the, in the past or something like amazing uh, wedding cocktail ideas, things like that. I will select the number of outputs that it's going to give me. So I'll choose five outputs that it's going to generate for me after I've given them all this information and then I'll generate the AI content. So 30 things to do before your big wedding day, what you need to have on your wedding to-do list, how to plan a wedding on a budget. I'll generate five more outputs just to see if I can get anything a bit more uh, suited to a listicle. So on this one, 
uh, we've got how to choose a wedding photographer. Obviously this is quite a general topic and this probably wouldn't rank if you or rank on Google if you just did an article focusing on this you'd have to make it a bit more long tail so maybe so you could do a bit more keyword research after this or you could do it before and provide the tool with a bit more information and it might come up with something that's a bit more specific but for, for now I'm going to copy this and we're going to create a listicle on this. Next you want to go back to your dashboard here and you want to go to blog and choose a different template so we're going to choose the blog post outline and this will give us the um, individual parts of our listicle so each item on the list. I will paste the blog post topic here and I'll set the tone of voice to informative and friendly similar to before and I'll let it generate three outputs here for us to choose from and this will be good for our uh, listicle um, table of contents. So for example the first output that is generated might be things you need to think of when you're choosing a wedding photographer. So what's your budget? How many photos do you want? Do you want candid shots? But it's not really about how to choose a wedding photographer, I would say. So firstly, I think I would probably choose this middle one which, because it's got six outputs. I'm not sure I quite like the first one, which is just do your research, I think. You need something that's a bit too vague. So I'll just get rid of that. And then we're left with uh, five uh, listicle ideas here. And I'll just replace these to get it to uh, five uh, items in the list here. So I'll just copy this. And this is basically the outline. It's the table of contents for the listicle now. These are the things that you're going to be writing about. And essentially to create the post now, you can use Conversion AI's long form assist here. So if I click here and create the long form assist, this is where I begin to write my full article using the technology. I will type paste in the five items in the listicle. I'll then again copy the heading and I'll put that at the start. So how to choose a wedding photographer and, I, and it gives the five bullet points. And I'll just include some keywords. This is where after you've done your keyword research, you could include these. But now I'm just going to put things like um, choosing the best wedding photographer um, or how to decide on a wedding photographer. I haven't done any prior keyword research to this because I didn't, I didn't know what AI content it would generate. And once you've added in the you know, description of the content you want it to create. You can either add in your own headline if you thought of one, or you can get it to generate ideas for one. How to choose the perfect wedding photographer. So I will, I'll use this one and I'll, I'll edit it slightly. And I'll just put five tips to choose the perfect wedding photographer. You can then write your own introductory paragraph or you can generate ideas for one. So we will see what happens now if we generate ideas. And if we're reading them here, I think all of them are quite good. This one's slightly longer, but I think I like the bottom one. Wedding season is upon us and it can be hard to choose the perfect photographer. There are many photographers out there that will offer you a great deal, but if they don't fit your style of personality, then you'll regret choosing them. In this blog post, I'm going to give you some tips on how to find the best wedding photographer for your big day. So I will use this one and then open it the editor to start creating the listicle. I'll add in a couple of uh, paragraphs here, and then you can add a bit more to the introduction if you wish, but for this uh, quick demo, I will just jump straight into the first point in the listicle. So I'll go back to the first point we had, which was consider this, the photographer's style and personality. And I'll paste it in here. You can then start off how you want it to start. So I might put the first tip on our list is to make sure your photographer Um, is 
or understands your style. And then you can, once you've added in what you want, you can then use the AI tool to generate content. You can choose the output length. I usually choose medium or long here, but let's go for medium. Make sure it's in the right, the right place and I will click compose. And this is where the AI technology starts writing the content for you. So as you can see, it's given you a bit of content here. Do you like a photographer who handles their job professionally with little no emotion or you want someone more outgoing that will show up wearing an animal costume one of this to the outs in the head uh, you make sure that they're compatible enough with your tastes so it, for example i might get just get rid of this one but it gives you some good ideas to get started and um, writing this content i would just go on to the second listicle i mean you'd obviously add more um to that first bit i don't think i really gave it the the best sort of introduction but we'll go on to the second one ask for a list of past clients so you can see they work in person so I'll just let it generate content just to start off with I won't add anything I'll just let it let it run and see what it comes up with next you should ask for a list of past clients and see their work in person so it will give you a good idea of how the photographer handles themselves at weddings and who they handle the shoots with if you're happy uh, with what's on display or like the way they interact with photography with photographing other people then you can choose them for your big day and you just edit the content in this editor and let the AI tool add or compose content um, wherever you need it to you can go back to different sections and add content so if you wanted to add more, to, more content to a certain section on the list you can go back and add it in and generally you should be sort of doing your own research on the topic, adding in um, your your thoughts, adding in your experiences, and then using the tool just to fill in the gaps. And just write when you don't have any ideas. It's sort of a cure for writer's block, and that sort of thing. But it just generally helps you along the way as you're creating the content. And you just, and then after I've written all of the article here, I would then paste it into WordPress, and then just format it and publish it. So that's it, we've been through how you get the uh, idea for the listicle, how you get the outline for it, and then how you can create the long form content, which is the, the full article itself, uh, using the AI technology um, all along the way. And really you can get a really good um, article done in less than 20 minutes just with this. If you do your own research and you do a bit more keyword research as well, it might take up to about half an hour, but for listicles like this, you can just go through each point um, with the AI content um, until it's all done. So uh, that's it. And in the next video, I'll be doing some more reviews on conversion AI. I'll give you my full thoughts on it and how it's good for bloggers. Um, so stay tuned for the next episode um, on that. And thank you for watching.